In this video, I wish to walk you through the steps of demonstrating the sensor tampering protection capabilities of the Cyber Reason platform. You'll see here that I have a new policy with the sensor tampering protection turned on. I have a sensor registered within the environment with that policy applied to it. So it inherits those settings as soon as I apply that policy. I'm gonna walk through a series of steps demonstrating the capabilities to protect itself from manipulation. The first thing I wanna demonstrate is that we have an application in the installation directory. And we can test this with a variety of the items here. I'm gonna start with CRAM tray. If I come in here and attempt to delete it, even as an administrator in the system, I'm not permitted to do so. In addition, we have a directory that we protect that collects sensor data. If I attempt to come in and insert a new file to that directory, or if I attempt to try and manipulate any of the files currently in the directory, I'm not permitted to do so. Over here, I'm running PowerShell as an administrator. So if I list all of the processes that are running, I can demonstrate that this pylon loader exe, one of the services needed for cyber reason to run, is also protected. So if I try and run a task kill on this particular process, passing the image name for it, you'll see that I'm not permitted to do so. If I attempt it and even try and pass a force option, I'm still denied that particular activity while the sensor tampering protection is turned on. Likewise, if I'm using PowerShell again as an administrator and I list out the files in that same installation directory that's protected, I can also attempt to demonstrate that we protect from manipulation for things like trying to rename or remove an item. So in this particular case, if I come in and say, I want to rename this item in an exe to in an X, in this case, dash one dot exe, you'll see that I'm not permitted to do that as well. I'm unauthorized even as an administrator running PowerShell. Lastly, I want to demonstrate that even at the registry level, we're protecting the sensor from tampering. The first place is from the actual keys themselves for the software. If I attempt to try and create a new key, I'm not permitted to do so. If I come in and actually try and some way remove or modify or delete this key that already exists, I'm again blocked from accessing and manipulating the keys that are part of the installation. The other thing that I can't do is attempt to in any way interfere with the startup processes. So if I come in here to the Active Probe where we've got start services registered and try and modify this to change those values, we'll demonstrate that we have the ability to protect this as well.